If the flip didn't take 10 minutes to turn on, you would have seen the Audi RS5 gracing downtown Kent this morning. Very nice and black, just a step above the S5, I suppose. Anyhow, got the Accord today, headed in. Um, just two quick classes should be pretty easy. So, I'm gonna go get that done. It's like 50 degrees and pretty cloudy, but not raining, so that's a good sign. All right, I'll talk to you after work. <laughs> Would that be an E36 M3 over there this morning? I think it is. Oh yeah, it's got the M stripes on the trunk. That's awesome. Terrible. Equally as bad. All right, he's right there. That's awkward, but that was an E36 M3 with the awesome stripes on the back. Very cool. All right, guys, you're kidding me. It's on the way home now. It's 1.31 p.m. and now it's raining. Anyways, though, I, the flip is pissing me off. It takes so long for it to turn on. I hit the power button and like two seconds go by and then it turns black for a second and then the flip logo for two seconds and then more screens of black for two seconds and then it maybe will come on and be kind of ready to record. And then you hit the record button and there's no, I need to reinstall the firmware on it or something. Anyways, Space Gray Metallic E92 M3 just drives by. It's got the LED halos on the front. Looks incredible. Uh, sounded very nice. Uh, so that, an RS5, and the E36 M3 today. Why are there so many nice cars in Kent? I don't know. It's not really a wealthy place. It's a college town, but geez, no complaints. Well, that's where the car is, and I'm glad to see that it's not outside because today should be paint day. So it's in there getting its fender painted. You might say it's getting some chemotherapy to take care of some minor hip cancer. I don't think hip cancer is a real thing, though. Either way. Oh, it's pretty, it's pretty, I can't eat, but pretty. All right, guys, uh, 4 19 in the afternoon. It's glorious here. We've got the iTunes visualizer over here. Colt is back with the car in the garage. He's on Skype. Tell everybody how late you were up this morning with the car. I, I finished, um, except for the brake caliper, on the driver's front side at 7.30. 7.30 in the morning. I may spend six hours washing my car, but he'll spend uh, twice that, more than twice that, doing his struts. And he got everything done with the front drivers except the brake caliper back on, which is now done. The front driver's side is 100% done, the wheel's not back on the yet, but that'll be less. Strut drop. What? The front passenger side is going to have the strut drop within 15 minutes. Alright, within the next 15 minutes, the front passenger side will have the strut dropped out of the car, so we'll get that out. And I'll get the new one in, it'll be peachy, and then maybe we'll get an idea with what's going on with the back. Uh, what else? What else? It's been pouring down rain and 60 degrees outside. I've got more lights to put up, but yesterday I took them all out and they're all dead, so I'm going to have to get new ones when I get the car back tomorrow. Uh, but I have everything on. It's actually kind of early, but they're on down there, so it's justified. Um, okay, I think that's about it. I got classes done today. They were okay. Finished up the last class for sociology um, exam on on this Thursday, and then there's the final exam next Tuesday. So the tenth. That's a Monday. So maybe it's Monday. I don't know. We'll get it done. We'll figure this out. Semester's coming to an end. Christmas is on its way. Colt, are you ready for Christmas? I ain't getting you shit for Christmas. Okay, just got off Skype with Cole. Today's time on Skype was like seven something hours. It's ridiculous. Anyways, the front struts on the 540 are totally done. Everything's all set with that. It appears to be working fine. Rear struts, we gotta start on that. Um, the strut towers for the rear are behind the back seat, so you gotta take out the seat cushion, the seat back, the rear deck, all of that stuff. The seat belts come out. So all of that is done. We've exposed the rear struts in the back of the car, and I think he's gonna try to start that tomorrow. Got to turn it around and jack it up, get the wheels off it, and go from there. So he's making good progress. It's taken a lot of time, but it's a five series, and these cars are a pain to do anything on. So I got all my stuff ready to go upstairs. I'm gonna do that. Go take a shower. Go to bed. Hopefully, getting the car back. Most likely, getting the car back tomorrow afternoon. He said Wednesday afternoon, so early evening. So we'll get that done tomorrow, and uh, then Thursday I've got an exam and two homework things due. That'll kind of suck a little bit, but then Friday's cool and tomorrow's cool. I don't have to go in early, so that's fine. And then Saturday, oh, we were going to do something Saturday. I don't remember. Go to, we were going to go somewhere Saturday. I don't know. It'll come to me later. We'll talk that. So I'll talk to you guys tomorrow, Wednesday, 7.23 or 4, 7.24, I think. So lots of work with the car, lots of work online. Talk to you all tomorrow.